Welcome to another episode of Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, I try to bring you guys a variety of different tech-related tips and content. If this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. In today's video, we're going to talk about Cloudflare's DNS filtering for consumers called 1111 for families. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure it on an edge router and also how to use it on a network that's set up with a Synology internal DNS server. That being said, let's head over to the computer. So a few weeks ago, I watched the video from Tom Lawrence of Lawrence Systems where Tom talked about Cloudflare and their third-party privacy audit results. He also talked about how they introduced 1111 for families and how he configured it on a PFSense firewall. So today I just want to show you how to configure it up on an edge router and if you're running your own internal DNS server such as a Synology, how to set it up using a Synology DNS server on your home network. Now what is 1111 for families? Well, I'll put a link to Tom's video down in the video description below if you want to check out what Tom had to say and how he set it up on a PFSense router. But to sum it up, the short of the long is it's DNS filtering where if you use a particular DNS IP address, you can block malware. If you use a different DNS IP address, you can block malware and adult content. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. You see here, there are two flavors. If you use 1112, it'll block malware. If you use 1113, it'll block malware and adult content. So that being said, let's hop over to the edge router and I'll show you how to set it up. So setting up 1111 DNS filtering for families on an edge router is really super, super simple. As you can see, I'm in my router, I'm under the services tab, and I'm looking at the DHCP server for my LAN. Before we make the change to implement 1111 for families, let's take a look at the way I have my router currently set up. In the DNS field, I have the address pointing to the router itself. If I bring up the system tab and we look at the name servers, you can see I have the system name servers set and pointed to Cloudflare's 1111 and 1001. So with this current configuration, nothing is being filtered. So let's bring up terminal and let's do an NS lookup and we'll look up google.com and you can see it's returning an IP address. And now let's look up an adult site, so let's look up and you can see we're getting an address return. So currently nothing is being filtered. Let's go ahead and make the changes on the edge router. So let's bring the system tab back up. And let's come over to where it says system name server and let's change 1111 to 1113 and 1003, which is the IP address to filter malware and adult content. Once you make those changes, just come on down and save those changes. Now that the changes have been applied, let's bring up the terminal window again and let's do an NS lookup for Google again. And you can see we're getting an IP address response. Now let's do an NS lookup for the adult site this time. And if everything's working well, as expected, we shouldn't get an address. And you can see here it's returning no IP address. So guys, it's really that super simple to get 1111 set up and working on an edge router. So what if you're running your own internal DNS server on your network? What do you do in that case? Well, let me show you. Let's close this for here and let's come in here. Now we're back on the DHCP server details for the LAN network. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to change the DNS field from pointing to the router itself to pointing to my DNS server. So in this case, it's my Synology NAS. I'm using the Synology DNS server. The address of my NAS is 25.60. So I'm going to go ahead and save those changes.
Now, the next thing I'm going to do is bring up my network settings. And I'm going to refresh my DHCP settings. So this way you can see here now and the DNS server is pointing to 25.60, which is my internal DNS server. Let's go up and bring up the Synology NAS and let's go into the DNS server itself. And let's change under resolution, let's change the forwarding servers to 1113 and 1003 and say apply. Now even though it says settings applied, when I was playing with this earlier in the week, I found that it's just best to restart the DNS server. So let's do that by going to the package center and under DNS server I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click the drop down and I'm going to stop the DNS server. Are you sure you want to stop this package service? Yes. And now that the server is stopped, we're just going to go ahead and start the server by clicking on run. Now that the server has been restarted, let's bring up a terminal window. Since now we've pointed our edge router to the DNS server, we've updated our DHCP settings on our adapter card, and we've changed our forwarding servers on the internal DNS server to point to the 1111 for families. So now let's go ahead and do an NS lookup for Google. And you can see it did return an address for google.com. And now we'll go ahead and we'll do an NS lookup for the adult site. And you can see here now our internal DNS server is filtering out and you can see it went through 192.168.25.60 and it returned no address for our adult content. So it's been a couple of days now and I've been using 1111 for families on my own home network. It works well. I'm using 1113 which is blocking both malware and adult content. And what I have found from time to time is it does block legitimate websites. So on the Cloudflare blog, what they're saying here is that in the coming months, they're going to expand the service where they're going to allow things like whitelists and blacklists and times of day when you can block things like social media, get reports, etc. So I'm glad to see that Cloudflare is looking ahead and that they're going to expand this service. Now, that being said, what do you do now if it's blocking a website that you need to get access to? Well, I guess you can go back and change your DNS settings so that you're not being filtered, or you can go up to reports.teams.cloudflare.com and you can use this page to submit a site, a legitimate site that's being blocked. You basically just put in the domain name and what category it should be listed under. And I did that for my own website. I don't know how long this takes. Hopefully by the time this video gets posted, I'll be able to provide an update to say it took three days, it took a week, it took whatever. I'm not sure but that will remain to be seen. One of the things I wanted to mention earlier when showing you how to set up 1111 for families on the Edge router itself was how Tom on the PFSense firewall was able to take an individual client computer on the network and set the DNS through client reservations. On the Edge router, we could do static mapping, but it does not allow us at that point to set the DNS for that computer. So I thought that was really cool and hopefully someday we'll get that feature on Edge OS as well. Well anyway, if you found any value in this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share, and use those Amazon affiliate links. I really do appreciate it. I know it doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.